Hello everybody, how are you doing? It's Officer here and today we are going to be doing a well requested uh, 5M Ultimate install guide. In today's video we are going to be going over basic things, complex things, everything I've seen in YouTube, all compiled into one video. So here are the things we are going to be installing today. We've got WinWa here, we've got all the usual 5M OpenL interiors. We're going to be going through every single thing, uh, something as simple as OpenL interiors, all the way up to uh, make visuals great again here. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to start with the uh, pretty simple installs. Now, of course, before you need anything of this, you do need a zip file opening software. I do recommend WinWa. Uh, WinRAW, it says that there's like a trial, but it's, it's actually unlimited, so it's kind of counterintuitive. So you're just going to download that, and we've got WinRAW up there, and just follow the instructions as it is. It's very simple. See, that's the first thing out of the way, very simple. Next thing you want to do is you're going to want to download the 5M client. Um, now, when you do this, uh, it's going to ask you for your folder. Now, I do apologize, I'm not doing this, as I do have two, five, two 5Ms installed uh, on my backups already. Uh, but I will show you what you do. So when you download this, uh, it should give you like a little thing right here, 5m.exe. Uh, it'll ask you if you want to make changes to the computer, you'll click yes. Um, so it'll install and it'll ask you where you want your GTA 5 directory to be. Um, if you have a, um, a Steam version of the game, it's going to be on your local disk in your Steam library. Uh, and you'll select Grand Theft Auto 5 from there. But if you have something like for me, I have the retail version, you're going to go into program files. You're going to go down to Rockstar Games, and you'll press select on this, select, and it should copy the files over. Now that's 5M out of the way. Now there's something else you must do for 5M. 5M would be installed just like this right here. However, you are not done. What you're going to do is you want to create a new folder and just title it 5M. Now, since it's already on my desktop, I'll call it 5M1, but as it's right up here. So you're going to drag this into here, 5M. So it should be inside of here. Now you're going to actually click on it. So you're going to double click on it and it's going to install into this directory and when you're done, well we can get rid of this right now when you're done, you should have something like this this is what should happen when you drag the 5M file into a folder now since we have this, we can continue making mods you can actually go into 5M right now if you wish I'll also review later on in the video the most optimal settings that way this is an ultimate guide you're going to want to go into 5M application data and do not worry for the plugins folder because I'll show you what's going on with that in just a second. You're going to see everything here except for plugins, which is fine. Uh, very simple, actually. Go to new folder and you're going to title it uh, plugins. Now you press enter right there. I'll type in plugins one and it's going to be blank like this. Now let's delete this and I'll show you what we're going to be installing today. So plugins and here we go. These are what you're going to be installing. So Links will all be in the description. So 5M and that is out of the way. If you want to play on it right now, by all means, go ahead. And also, whilst I'm uh, mentioning this, if you ever want to just pause the video and see what you get new, then it's completely fine. And if you have any issues, make sure you message me in the comment section. So the first easy thing we're going to be installing is open all interiors. Um, you're just going to click on download, and it's going to give you a WinRAR file, which will look just like this. Very simple install. Since thing that doesn't really matter. So you're going to see this, you're going to open up that 5M folder that you made earlier, application data, plugins, and again, don't worry about everything else here, it's going to be blank for you, so I'll make that plugins folder actually, again, I don't know why I deleted it. So we'll just title it, uh, plug, plugins1, like we said before, I guess. Title that in, very simple, drag and drop, you're going to just drag these into here, and there you go, you have the ASI and open all interiors, that's all you need for open all interiors, very simple drag and drop, just make sure it's in that plugins folder because as we know, uh, if it's not, it does not work that well. Alright, so now we can get rid of open all interiors as that is all accounted for. The next thing we'll be installing is probably essential is the Lambda menu. You're going to click on download right here. Again, link will be in the description below. This is actually on a forum page. If you want the instructions, they're right here. Uh, so we're going to go out to where we have Lambda installed now. Uh, again, there's free trial, expiration notice, that's very funny. Uh, Lambda menu, you're going to open this up. Uh, and there's two things here that you'll need. So we're going to go back into the application save data. Uh, we're just going to do one, pull one of these moves right here. Uh, application data. We'll go to plugins one, and I'll show you how this works. So this is not something you just drag everything into here. The ASI file goes into the plugins folder. Again, it's plugins one because I already have it. The LM, the uh, Lambda menu configuration, goes into the main directory. I'm not going to drag it in there because I should have it myself. Yep, right here. So that just proves that that's right. All right, great. And uh, so it should be golden. Just to clarify with our other folder, yes, Lambda menu's here, but not the config, which is great. Next up, 
we will be going for the simple trainer for Grand Theft Auto 5, which works in story mode and in Fiverr. You're going to click on download, as always, as we know. Uh, we can get rid of Lando as well. Uh, here we go. Trainer V, Trainer 5. Again, I don't know why this does this. Uh, very simple, if you want to have the readmes, but you have me for that, right? So there's no need for that. We'll go back into 5M. Actually, I think I already have it open, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 5M uh, plugins. There we go. Uh, so as you see, it's just a simple drag and drop these two files. So we go back here and we'll go into plugins one. Uh, and we'll just drag these two files right here into that folder. And there we go. And now we're going to be going to the next thing so we can actually exit out of that. That's enough for open on Interior. I'm sorry, uh, Trainer Vive. Uh, next thing we're going to be installing is PLD. Uh, sorry, PLV. Uh, now PLD, I'm so retarded, I'm sorry. Play location display, in case you don't know what this does, we'll look at a few photos. It should be in the bottom left, uh, which direction you're at, which way you're facing, what road you're on. Going to click on download, as always. Uh, and then we're going to go to our uh, install, which is, by the way, all these WinWell files are what will be installed. They're just straight from there. Go to the installation files, Grand Theft Auto 5, and you've got your two files you need. We're going to go into your plugins folder. As you can see, they're going to be right there. And just to clarify with you, uh, we'll have plugins 1, and we'll, again, plugins 1 is just a folder I made because it's already there. And there we go. Now, those are all the files, and if we check back, they should match exactly, and they do. 2, 4, 6, 7, and we should have 7 on the other side. 2, 4, 6, 7. Perfect. So basically, these are the essentials that you'll need uh, if you ever want to play on a roleplay server. Now, I'm going to delete the plugins folder as you see that they are identical. Sorry, plugins 1, do not delete your plugins folder. That's what we just got into. And basically, ever since I started playing 5M, these are the essentials I use. And if you have any more that could possibly be plugins, that's great. But now we're going to get on to the big and heavy stuff. Uh, we've got a few things going on. We're going to be doing Make Visuals Great Again and Radiance 5. So get ready because this actually requires a little bit more handiwork. All right, for the next thing that makes things very impactful for your game, uh, we're going to be installing Make Visuals Great Again. So you're going to go to the website that we have. So we'll exit out of PLD. And here is it. Again, it's in the description as all the other links are. And then click on download this file. It should come down here in the bottom left. You're going to open it up with WinWall as always. And you're going to be brought to Make Visuals Great Again. Um, so you're going to click on this, right? We're going to be doing the manual installation. Let's get to our 5M folder up. So let's see whereabouts that is. Uh, so we're going to be going into Citizen. We'll be going to Common, Data. And here's what we're going to be doing for uh, Make Visuals Great Again, which basically enhances the lighting, textures. Um, so we're going to be going into the files, the update, update.rpf. Uh, we've got two files here. We're going to go to Common, Data. And basically, you're going to want to copy everything here and paste it right into this area. All right. Uh, it's going to say if it has 20 files, you can replace it. It's only because I have it. It shouldn't do this for you, but if it does, just replace them anyways. I'm going to click on No because I already have it installed. So don't worry about everything else, like the very bright and everything else like that, if you don't have it. Next thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to back up to common against x64 back here. You're going to go to x64 textures, and you're going to basically, I'm sorry, you're going to copy the textures folder into the 5 I don't know why I was saying that. Um, you're going to basically copy it into there. Uh, again, it'll ask me if I have to replace it. It's because this is a new folder. I already have it. Now, I do apologize. I should have said that you go into 5M, 5App, Citizen, Common Data. I don't know if I already said that, but it is very important. Now, there is something that is a... It's kind of demeanoring for this uh, texture update. Uh, basically, the rain does some very austere stuff. So we're going to go into Levels, GTA 5, Weather. Uh, and you'll have quite a few of these things in there. Uh, and it depends on your situation. So for me, it was actually the drops in the mist were a little bit much because they looked a little bit like porridge. So we're going to delete the ones that say render drop and render mist, leaving the ones that say ground only. And there you go. If you go into 5M right now, you should have your textures all updated. Hopefully that was a good enough explanation of that. Uh, we'll be moving on to Radiance V so we can get rid of make visuals great again. Now this next part here is going to be Radiance 5 or Radiance V, depending on how you look at it. You're going to go to LCPDFR right now. You're going to go to download this file, and it's going to give you an option of, I believe, two files. Yep. So you're going to go for the download 1.8.zip. And of course, it's going to give you this obligatory capture that is completely ours. Oh, it's just going to say I downloaded it because I guess I was already logged in already, um, which is fine. So basically, we can just X out of this already. Uh, and on your desktop, you'll get this thing, Radiance V, right here. Perfect, we'll go to the 1.8, we'll go to visual settings, and you can choose whether you want to get blinded or not. Now personally, already being blind, I think that very bright is an understatement. It's not that bright, but it might be because of MVGA, which we installed earlier. 
We're going to click on very bright, but you can also do bright. The actual installation is the same thing. So we're going to go into file and application data. We're going to go into citizen, common, data. And this should look very familiar. We are just here before, right? Now, if you want the amber parking lights, you can draw that's in there if you wish. I'm going to go for the main just like I normally do. So you can basically drag the visual setting into there. I'm not going to do it because it will replace it. And I had to customize it myself. So you are going to drag it into there, let go, and it should just go in there. It might ask if you have to replace. Now, before I edit this, uh, I just would like to let you know that it may seem kind of sketchy that you're dragging in other visual settings, but do not worry. It carries on over from MG MVGA. So now there's another thing we should do with the visual settings if you want it because it has to be optimized to your liking. I'm going to double click on it and it's going to have all this. Now we have to find the fat part that says bits, I believe. Uh, we just have to find where that is. Ah, here we go. So we're going to be looking for pound emits of bits. Now you're going to look at these numbers, you know, 10, 10, 0, 0, 25, 25, 500, 800, you know, and there's just some weird, you know, 550,000 or 12, 500, you know, these are the uh, the two things that you're going to customize to your liking. I don't know if they are default. They might be like 1,000 or something. But this basically changes how bright you want your lights and your headlights to be at night. So basically, you can change these to what you like. Just make sure that you type it in. So like if I wanted one, two, three, four, just like I did before. Uh, be careful. Whenever you want to mess up with your numbers, I don't know how high you can go. Uh, I don't know how bright it will be depending on how you go. There's, these, these are very bright numbers if you do want these. Um, you're going to click on file and you're going to click on save and then you can exit out and basically I'm going to say don't save because I think I edited something I shouldn't have done and there we go uh, now visual settings Radiance 5 is pretty much installed now so we can just delete that off of our desktop uh, so now we're looking really good and the last part is probably the one most of you guys came for it is not only the reveal but it is also how to install the custom siren and game sounds sorry gun sounds now the final part made by Saucy here are your 5M custom sound packs, custom basically gun sounds, weapon sounds, all that good stuff, stabbing sounds, and of course sirens, the holy grail of this. So you're going to go to the link in the description, it's going to have this zip file, you're going to go to download, it's going to say as always Google Drive can't stand this file for bars, you're going to click on download anyways. When you click on download anyways in the bottom left hand corner here, you're going to receive this file, the 5M sound pack. When it's done installing, which may take a little while depending on your internet, we're going to open it up. Now there is a readme.txt here, so if you do have to do this on your own, which you shouldn't have to, and it's basically going to tell you to go to GTA 5, the main directory, x64 audio SFX. This is true. So if you have the retail or Steam version, depending on if it's a desktop or not, we're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5, and we're going to go to open file location. All right, so we'll just follow what it says here, just to show you that this does work. We're going to go to x64, we're going to go to audio, and we're basically going to go, does it say SFX? Yes, it does, sound effects. And basically, here are all your RPF files. Now, this is basically where we leave paths, and you can decide what you want to have in here. However, there is are a few things you need to drag if you want this to work. You're basically going to drag, um, sorry, you're going to drag all of these three, the bottom three, into your main directory. That way, it should give you like all the great benefits. So just drag those three files in here. As for the, there is another file when you're dragging called Resident RPF. However, you guys can listen to these on YouTube and decide which one you like the most. These are basically your siren sounds. I think I used the Mastercom B if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, But if you wanted anything else, like the, for instance the PA640, you can drag that right into there. And there you go. It's This is on your main directory, by the way. So this is not a 5M app. And basically, guys, there you go. This is the ultimate 5M guide. If you have any questions, sorry if I was a little bit like not so transparent on things as it just was quite a bit of a... Just trying to remember how to install things. But if you do enjoy the video, why not make a like? And before I leave you guys today, uh, let's just show you what my 5M looks like after all these installations. And there you guys have it. That is how to install multiple things in 5M, the ultimate guide. Try to make it as short as possible. It did go up a little bit over 15 minutes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Here is some gameplay you'll see from whenever I launched up. For some reason, my game audio was not recording, which was what I was speaking over. So at the very end of the video here, these clips, you'll just see me showcasing quite a few things. Um, and then you'll see the settings I use, which you can go over or under, depending on whether or not uh, your PC can handle it. Now, I must say, whenever you do launch up 5M for the first time, you're most likely going to have a little square. Uh, to fix that, you're going to want to go to the first setting that, you, that I show here. It's kind of quick because it's all sped up in 60 FPS. Um, it's going to be the uh, window borderless, and you want the 1920 by 1680, I believe it is. I might be wrong on the 1080, whatever it was. Uh, that will make sure you press space and enter, and that will save your settings. I know whenever I first started 5M, 
that was very difficult for me to find out how to do that and finally you can do that now whenever the game updates you will have to redo that but that's a very small price to pay with that being said guys i'm off i'm signing out hopefully you guys enjoy this video and i will be doing an eup showcase next time